Hello, it's Zachary Triple O Seven, and in today's video, I have a pretty awesome video for you guys: a Windows 8 theme. So this is a picture of the theme right here. It's a pretty cool theme. It's a, it's a dark theme. So if you're not into the whole dark theme thing, you're not gonna like this one. But it's a pretty cool theme. It has a three different font choices. Um, and here's a little preview of it. it. Doesn't change much. Just changes your Explorer and your taskbar at the bottom there. But it's overall a pretty good looking theme. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to install this theme and get it going. Now, obviously, you will need a third-party patched Windows 8 computer. If you don't have that, I will have a link in the description below to one of my later videos explaining on how to do that. Follow that video to its fullest, then come back to this one and continue on. Now, like I said, this is a Windows 8 theme, so it works for Windows 8 and 8.1. Nothing below, not 7, not XP, not Vista. So after your computer has been patched for third-party themes, what you want to do is head over to the link right here, which we'll have in the description below, and go over to the right-hand side and click download. Then what you want to do is go to the link below that and go to Ribbon Disabler and download that as well. Because what this will do is actually disable the Ribbon um, UI feature that is included in Windows 8. So download both of those. Then what you want to do is simply extract them to your desktop. You'll extract them, you get a folder, um, and you also get a Ribbon Disabler file. Now in the Ribbon Disabler file, you'll notice that you have two different ones. You have EXE and you have X64EXE. X64EXE basically means the 64-bit version of Windows, which is, which is what most of you guys will have. But to double check, what you want to do is simply head over to your File Explorer, go over to System Properties, and you'll see System Type there underneath your RAM. And it'll tell you if you have a 64-bit operating system or not. So if you, if you have a 64-bit, what you want to do is extract just the 64 version. If not, then extract the one below that. And then what you want to do is simply open up Ribbon Disabler. You'll have the option to disable Ribbon Explorer. So go ahead and do that. Now it's going to say you need to log off to see the changes. So you can go ahead and do that. All right, so after you log off and log back in, you will notice if you go to your Explorer menu here, you no longer have the Ribbon UI there. All right, so after we're done that, we're all good to go. And as long as you're patched, you're ready to install your third party theme and apply it. So what you want to do is with your Explorer open, head over to this PC and go to your local disk or local disk C or whatever one which has the Windows logo on it. And then go to your Windows folder, scroll down to our section for resources. Then to the themes folder and leave that there. What you now want to do is open up your theme folder you downloaded, copy over the folder for sure. So copy that over. I already have it in there, so I'm not going to replace it. Now you have the option to install um, whatever one you want the, the font of. So Calibre um, and then Ubuntu and the one I can't pronounce. So whatever font you want, paste in there and make sure just open it up. Now make sure you have that font already installed. Calibre and the second one there you will for sure have. The Ubuntu um, font you may not have. So make sure you have that one installed if you want to use that one. So paste in one of these, th one of these three files, whatever one you want. Um, I paste in the Calibre one. And then all you're going to do now is simply go to your personalized section here. Scroll down to till you see it and click it. After you click it. It should uh, apply right away, and then you're good to go. It has successfully applied. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't come with a wallpaper. So I found a cool one. Um, this one right here. I think it will go pretty good with it. And it does. So if you guys want this wallpaper, I will have it in the description below um, if you so choose. Anyway, a quick tour before we go. Um, at the bottom here, we have our new taskbar, which is a dark uh, color as I expected. If we have to a file explorer. We have our simple, um, nice maximize, minimize, and close buttons here. Nice forward and back buttons over there. A uh, nice scroll bar. And pretty much, guys, that is it. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you want to uninstall this theme, all you got to do is right click again, go to personalize, and then choose Windows theme or some generic theme. And then, of course, you can go back to that last folder and delete the files manually if you no longer want them on your computer but of course they're only a couple megabytes so i have no reason to see why you want to delete them anyways guys 
Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you want to see more of these, leave a like. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them below as well. And besides that, thanks for watching. This is the Hacker 007, and I'm signing off.